Hey guys, just going over some collection updates over the last few weeks. Um, so firstly, I have um, Tyrion Lannister. Um, he has a couple of additional hands which aren't um, displayed with him here. But he's got a goblet and the book. Good detail. Um, really looks like the character. Great figure. Great price. Se <coughs> Second, this is probably the one you're all interested in the most. So here you can see I've got my Shadow Troopers. I've got the Untapa Shadow Trooper, which was the original release from Sideshow. He was a he was an exclusive that you had to purchase from Sideshow.com. Um, he was only available for like a day. Sold out pretty quickly. Um, this guy here is the um, five point articulation one from Hasbro. You get him in a pack. So you got the sideshow thrawn. And I'm not too sure how well this will come up, but here we have new display stand. Hot Toys, Shadow Trooper. So we got the Sideshow one. You can see the Sideshow one, the mark, the battle damage in that stands out a lot more than it does. But if I bring this guy forward, you can see that he's got much more of a shine. I'm way glossier finish than the Sideshow release and his battle damage probably will only just come up um, so you can sort of see, he's so glossy you can see my reflection in him um, but yeah you can see that he's got that slight weathering down across some of his armour it's a little bit on the helmet Now, these guys here are more worn out, dull, well damaged. This guy's got a bit of web shine. The pauldron is new for the Hot Toys release. He's also got the two ammo clips, which is also new to the Hot Toys release. I think they were going with a commander look to this guy. Um, I quite like the commander look. Um, the joints are a lot tighter, a lot sturdier than they are on the Sideshow one. Um, generally the Sideshow one, a lot of people complain that the um, wrist joints or elbow joints flop about um, a lot. Don't have the problem, don't have that problem with the Hot Toys release. So, so just place him back. Um, his stand is higher than the Sideshow Troopers which is why I decided to rearrange my display and have him at the back standing over the sideshow ones so that way it looks like Thrawn's got like a security detail with him so yeah um, then that's the Shadow Trooper. Another really cool addition. Um, oh, I'll just point out that I bought a couple more of the five point articulated Stormtroopers. So I've got this Sideshow release, Sideshow Commander. Um, I've got Medicom. But he, oh, it's Marmot, sorry. This guy's the Marmot one. And there's a Medicom guy tucked in behind here with a broken arm. But all the rest are cheap Hasbro guys, just army filler. Um, and I moved Agent Callus in the front there just because I thought that would look quite good with Callus standing there. And I also moved my Medicom clone 
up there if the fiber fest. The other new addition is with my Hoof guys, I put Isaac Clark from Dead Space with them because he's wearing like a snowy suit. Might move him in with Han and Luke depending where I put those when they eventually ship out. But yeah, it fits in fits in there quite well. Maybe the Empire decided to hire him as part of the bounty hunters. Just thought he went quite good in there. Um, my only other um, new pickup is I had Ed 209 for a while. I got Robocop. He's really good. Really heavy figure. I like how the purple um, comes out, especially he looks more bluey, grey, especially if he's got in a dark room. Um, it's quite cool, you can see in there that he's got a slightly blue look to him from that angle. Um, he normally looks more blue in this room because I don't always have the lights on. Um, yeah, and I really like the sound features, sounds good. Um, now, I don't know how well it picks up, but and a very interesting thing was, um, so I've got the Five Point Clone Troopers. Now, this guy looks a lot different to this guy, because the paint they used in, this guy here was in the 2013-2014 packer. This guy was in the 2000 and um, the late 2014-2015 packet, and it's actually a different shade of white, which I just thought was interesting, which is why I have one of each. So, um, interesting fact there, and I moved um, Fox, Gant, and Shock Trooper in with these guys, so um, for the Shadow Trooper. And of course, we already, I already showed off R2 in a previous video, but there he is again, the light's still working well, and um, no real problems with him. So yeah, I'm getting Star-Lord this week, um, which will be good, and I'm also, well my dad is picking up a Ichabod crane. Um, that will be quite good also. I probably won't display the Ichabod um, out of the room, but I'll definitely be getting Star-Lord out and displaying displaying him. Um, and I was thinking of getting a Bomb Squad, which is now in stock in Australia, ahead of Sideshow. So that's one advantage to and it's actually, it's cheaper if you buy it in Australia than if you buy it from Sideshow 2. Um, I've used a $20 coupon, and with that $20 coupon it comes to about $220, I think, for the exclusive. Um, and the standard retail price in Australia is $200. Um, $190 from Anime Exchange. Um, that includes postage, I'm pretty sure. $190 includes postage. Um, So yeah, the, um, quite s good news for us there. Um, Hoff Han and Hoff Luke. Sideshow still lists them as shipping soon, sh soon in their newsletters. Um, I haven't gotten a notification myself. It's about, I think it's about two to three weeks if you go off their original email. Um, but yeah, a lot shipping out soon. I think Bomb Squad, Gamora, Han, Luke, Cad Bane are all slated for March, April. So it's going to be very, very interesting with all that. Um, now I do have one little question as a thank you for you guys watching this video. Now I've always had the Empire Shelf, just changed it around over the years, added um, I started off with having one Royal Guard, and I picked up a couple from um, 
flea markets, whatnot. I've always had Palpatine more beta. I added Malgus in when Malgus was released um, a year or so ago. Should I keep Darth Vader on this shelf, or should I move him around? Because I've always figured, well, he should always be by the Emperor's side, but that, for those of you who have seen it, that Rebels finale, I'm thinking maybe it's time Vader some moving around and jumped from shelf to shelf from depending where I've got the room for him. He won't fit on this shelf, he's too tall, too tall for this shelf, but he can fit with the 501st and he can fit with all the stormtroopers. And then he could probably fit in a few other shelves. So that's my little question. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching guys. And I will put up some pictures on something of Star, Star Lord when he gets here. Which will probably be hopefully tomorrow. Um, Wednesday at the very latest. Tuesday is probably the most likely of the three days. But I'm hoping for tomorrow. Because I probably will get time to actually look at him tomorrow. Yeah, thanks for watching, guys.